Hello everyone, it's Emily and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I know this is late, but um, I'm in a really good mood right now. Uh, um, basically, basically I went to prom again over the weekend because for some reason I'm going to like three different proms this year. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And frankly, I'm excited because the two I've been to so far have been very fun. Real, actually, it's kind of funny because the only one I have left is my school's prom. Like, I've been to another friend's prom and I went to another, yeah, I went to two other proms. Um, and then I just, yeah. So the last one is going to be my own school, which is kind of funny, but oh well. Uh, but basically, yeah, I went to prom of the weekend and my date was really cute. And that's pretty much why I'm in a good mood, because my date was really cute and yeah. Um, <laughs> which is really lame and super mundane, but like, I don't know, it's just, it's just a little thing that makes me happy. Um, but speaking of prom, so this I built on Sunday, which was the day after prom, and I actually had a friend sleepover on Saturday night, and she watches my videos, so she was like, oh hey, you should build me something. And so I, I like let her choose where she wanted it built, and, um, and then I was like, okay, what kind of house do you want? And she was like, I you should make me something round. And I was like, well, that doesn't really exist in The Sims 4. And she was like, okay. And I was like, but I can do something octagonal. And so she was like, do that. And I was like, actually, I'm gonna do a lighthouse because something completely octagonal is frankly a little bit scary. Um, so yeah, we ended up with this lighthouse. Also, I don't know why I called it Montgomery Lighthouse. I just, it was, I didn't wanna call it just the lighthouse and I feel like, lighthouses are normally named after like families or like cities or something and Montgomery Lighthouse sounded cool so you know it's called the Montgomery Lighthouse. Uh, like I said I did build it on Sunday so it's been up on the gallery for quite a few days now. Um, if you want to go check it out if you haven't already it's I think it's a pretty cool house. It's fairly small. It will fit four sims. Uh, it's only two bedrooms but there's two there's two beds in the kids' room, um, and then obviously there's a master bedroom. And I, I just really like this house. Um, it's kind of funny, though, because I was basically on each of the levels that is just the lighthouse. There's a bedroom and their own bathroom, and I was, I was making this house, and um, I was, like, trying to figure out the floor plan for these bedrooms because it was kind of cramped. And then I get down after figuring out that whole floor plan, and I look down at the main living area and I like start working on it, it was huge. Like I was just like why did I leave myself so much room down here and then just like not fit anything upstairs. I really like it though. I think it turned out nicely. I think, do I put a fireplace in? I hope I put a fireplace in because I really wanted a fireplace in this house. I felt like it would be a rather cozy thing to have in a lighthouse. Um, but yeah, you can see I was struggling with the windows basically uh, before I started like working with the stairs and realizing that the stairs weren't wide, or that the uh, octagonal part wasn't wide enough to fit the stairs. Um, it was, uh, it was, it started on like each of the non-diagonal wall sections were three, um, three squares wide and that just wasn't working so you can see here I'm changing it out and that actually solves my windows problem so I'm able to like fix the windows and yeah it just it turns out nicely it still looks really good even though it's not symmetrical I would have liked it to be symmetrical but oh well I think it's still pretty um but yeah this was a really fun build um I because one I just had my friend kind of hanging out and helping me um and I don't know if you guys have realized this yet, but I love feedback. Like, I love having someone to help me. I love having someone to be like, yeah, you should do this, or no, you shouldn't do that, or hey, that looks like crap. For example, that awkward bathroom that I was going to put in there and then decided not to put in. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun. Um, I really like building with someone there. And so that was kind of nice for me. And obviously you can see I've got this really awkward layout going on right now. I like the way those stairs look, which is why I tried that. But it was just, it was getting in the way and I couldn't get a layout I liked. So, you know, we switch it all up. The floor plan turns out pretty nicely um, in the end. I actually, my friend was like, hey, you should just make each of them like kind of studios. So 
like you just walk up the stairs and it's a room. Um, and I was going to do that and then I realized it would be just as easy to close it off and so we end up doing that. And really I think, I think that this turns out quite nicely. Um, real quick, I just got a text from a friend. I have to respond to this. Um, sorry, I'm just going to be really quiet for a minute. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, I had my birthday on Friday. I guess I posted a video on Saturday, too. Huh, so you guys have, like, heard all about my birthday. Never mind, that's old news. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to respond to this. Um, okay, anyway, back to the build. So I put in that bed to see if it would like fit, like if we actually had enough room in the floor plan, and we did! It was working and I was happy. Um, and this layout stays pretty much the same, actually. I'm pretty much there. I think I'm going to move downstairs in just a minute, and this is where I realized that, holy crap, I have a lot of room down here. Why did I leave me myself so much room right there? Um, uh, I don't know. It happened. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of wondering what, uh, what sort of builds would you guys like to see in the future? Because I kind of want to do a cabin build, but like, it's been so long since Outdoor Retreat came out. I don't know if that would be interesting for you guys. Also, oh my gosh, I just remembered. Today was the announcement for like the new packs. Um, and there's been a lot of, uh, how do I say this politely? A lot of people have been complaining about the packs. And really, I get it. It, it would have been nice to be like, oh, hey, we're working, to see like, oh, hey, we're working on um, an expansion pack or something. But I believe Deligracy just said this in her live stream. She might have said it in her video about this too. I don't know. I haven't checked that yet. Um, but we we really, it hasn't been very long since we got get together, and so it's not, um, I don't know, it's, it's not like we're absolutely due for another expansion pack. And I'm really excited about restaurants. I think they'll be a lot of fun to do. Um, oh, but I mean, my mirrored backsplash, because, like, that's what I do in every one of my houses, because we don't have actual backsplashes we can use, and so, like, mirrored backsplash it works. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, I'm, I, uh, I'm really excited about the restaurants. I think restaurants will be a lot of fun to play around with. Um, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, restaurants are gonna be cool. I, for one, am really looking forward to doing, like, a 50s diner type thing, or, um, I don't know, what else could I do? Because that's probably coming out fairly soon. It did say spring of 2016, and it is spring for me. If it, it's not, it's not spring for you if you're in like New Zealand or Australia or that area, Oceana, is that, is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Anyway, if you're in that area, it's not spring for you, but it is spring for all of the Northern Hemisphere, so you know. Um, I don't know why I started talking about, like, spring and all that stuff. That's not really important. But anyway, the restaurant pack should be coming out soon, and I'm really excited about that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I hope we get to operate our restaurants, because otherwise I think it'll be kind of lame. I mean, obviously restaurants will still be cool, but I think we should be able to, um, we should be able to operate our restaurants no matter what. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this kids pack actually because like on the one hand a kids pack sounds cool and we definitely need more stuff to do with kids in the game but on the other hand um I don't know I just uh, I wanted beds that's really what it comes down to I wanted more beds um and everyone keeps saying this and I was really hoping they would have been like oh cool we'll give you more beds like one of these packs will have beds but really there's not gonna be beds in the restaurant pack and there wasn't a new bed showing in the kids preview thing so maybe maybe with this kids pack they'll add new beds as that just sort of like uh, eventually, and they haven't gotten around to it yet, because it doesn't come out till this summer, um, so we have enough time, but yeah, I just, 
I want beds, guys. And that, I was talking to my mom about this earlier today, too, because I was telling her about, like, the announcement and stuff. And I was like, you know, this would be, this would be, I, I'm excited about all of these things. Um, but one of the reasons I really liked having custom content in my game was because I had so many beds and I had so many options. And that made, uh, furnishing and building and all that fun stuff a lot easier and I'm just stopping here for a minute I don't know what I'm doing something important probably but yeah I like like I've said before I used to use a lot of custom content and the big thing was I one I used like a lot of Kaz items and stuff to kind of get my sims to look more like the way I want them to but also the other thing was um my decor items I used uh, separated beds like almost exclusively I used separated beds and bed frames and I like added blankets to my beds and all that stuff and that that was so nice for me um, because yeah just having all of those separated items it just made life so much easier and I'm stopping again there's a lot of stopping in this video I don't know why I didn't cut it out um, but yeah I just I I want more beds or I don't know. I feel like they can't really do anything about the existing beds. Like, they're not going to add an update where it's like, oh, yeah, we have separated bed frames and mattresses now, whatever. Um, obviously, that's a fairly fundamental aspect of the game, and so they're probably not going to change that. Um, but I would... I just want more beds. I, yeah. And that's my little two cents, I guess. Um, yeah. But on the on the whole, I think restaurants are going to be so much fun and it'll be so nice to have like a more normal place to take Sims out on dates. Like let's be real here, not everyone goes out to a bar for their date or the park or yeah. Like right now those are like your options and that's fun and all, but I want restaurants. I want my Sims to go on like dinner dates. Um Oh my gosh, how cool would it be if your sims could do like super cheesy proposals where they f put the ring in the food? Oh, that would be so cool. I know that's not going to happen because that would be like really hard to code and stuff. But oh my gosh, that would be so fun. I mean, I guess they probably could like plan a proposal. I don't know. Um, also, I used that rug in this room and actually past couple of times I've built, I've been like, hey, I really want to use this rug. I might have said this in one of my videos, but I just, I I don't think I've ever used that rug, and I think it's a really cool one. I just can never find a place for it, and I used it this time, and it made me happy. So yeah, also trying to put something on that wall, I end up just like not putting anything. Um, I guess actually looking back on this, I could have just rotated the entire like bed area so that, um, the bed was on that wall and then it could have been like looking out onto uh, a view of the island. That would have been cool. Speaking of which, in the screenshots of this, I um, I won't go into too much detail, but I was taking screenshots from like all of the levels and then on the top level I have this really pretty view of the ocean that I took. Um, because there is a door to go outside of the lighthouse. I don't know if I put it on on camera or not because I was planning on it and then I totally forgot until like the last second, but I think I did. Um, and it was, uh, it was just, it's a really cool, it's a really cool view because honestly, the, the entire world of Windenburg is just really pretty. And here's me putting in this kid's bedroom. I really like this kid's bedroom. I like all of the pastels. I did use quite a lot of like white woods or just light colored woods in this house just because I wanted it to feel very beachy. Um, oh my god, I forgot how crazy this bathroom is because I wanted those two beds next to each other and so I had to like move around the bathroom so that entire area wasn't cut off. So we end up with this pretty awkward bathroom layout. Like there's like two little cutouts for the sink and the um for the sink and the what is the word the shower. And so yeah, it's just it's very interesting. Um but yeah. Also, I put that like green colored rug. I was going to put that in downstairs and then I didn't. But yeah, it I think it looks nice. It works for what it is. Um, but yeah, now you can put that little activity table in and then I'm just putting in a couple other direct er, decorations. 
By the way, I love that giraffe. Like, I feel like I've put it in quite a few builds because I think it's so cute. Like, I don't really know why I find it so cute. There's not a good reason for me to find a feel like it's so cute but it, it just is. Also I realized I hadn't put in any windows on that side so you know just putting those in. I don't think I don't think I put any decorations on the fireplace. I don't yeah I don't think so but um which is kind of unusual usually I like to have like a couple things on the fireplace but oh well um what was that sound? My phone just made a sound and I don't know why. Repositioning the entire lot because reasons? I don't know. I think I just wanted a little bit more space in the front yard and there was plenty of room in the backyard. Really, it's more of like a side yard type thing. Um, but yeah. Also, um, so I did this and then I was like looking at the rest of the build and I realized that the stairs had all disappeared. So, um... Hopefully when you place this lot the stairs don't disappear because you know that would be rather sad But if they do I'm sorry just you know put them in there's all of those like railings and stuff So you'll know where they're supposed to go, but it's just kind of annoying um And yeah, just adding a little bit of an extra decoration and then we'll put in a little table really keeping the backyard pretty simple um Yeah Nothing too extravagant. Really, this is this is supposed to be a fairly simple house. And here's me undoing all of that to see if the stairs would come back. I don't know at what point they disappeared, but it wasn't worth going back any further, so, you know. Um, and, like you can see here, it's really not that hard to put the stairs in. Like, it's like two different things. And, yeah. Um, I know, I do put a fire pit in the backyard, just because I really like the fire pits. I think having fire pits in backyards is really cool and especially on like an island like this I think it would be a cool thing to have. Um, plus like just playing around with outdoor retreat lately I've just really enjoyed putting those in. And then I do put a couple little trees in the backyard but I did not, I didn't put any like super tall ones which is kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted it to be like almost all obscured by trees, but then I realized that that would completely defeat the purpose of the lighthouse, and I wanted this to kind of look like it was still in use. Like, it might be an old lighthouse and stuff, but it's it's still being used, it's still an important part of the island, because frankly, like, a lighthouse is a fairly important thing to have on an island, especially when you're so close to this, um, or so close to like, a living area. Um, so yeah, just doing a little bit of of the front landscaping. We're pretty much done with this build. The landscaping on the front is a little messy. Um, I thought about leaving it. I thought about taking it out because I just wasn't sure how I felt about it. Um, I thought maybe it was a little too messy, but in the end I left it because I felt like it just fit with the idea of the build. Um, but anyway, just gonna do some terrain paint. I will tell you what packs you need for this build. I think I know all the packs. I know you need Outdoor Retreat. I know you need, um, you need Get Together, obviously. You need Spa Day. You need Movie Hangout stuff. And I, I use Cool Kitchen stuff for a couple clutter objects, which I keep doing and I need to stop because then I feel like people who don't have Cool Kitchen stuff are like, oh, I can't use this house because it's got that stuff in it. But really, it's like, two different things. Um, but yeah. So anyway, we're into screenshots now. If you'd like to download this house, it is on the Sims 4 gallery. My origin ID is Simsprite. I also use the hashtag Simsprite so you can search that. The name of this build, as you can tell from the title of this video, is Montgomery Lighthouse. It will fit four Sims in total. Uh, you might be able to squeeze another Sim in there. I don't know. Have fun with that. Um, but yeah, just a fun little build. And we're just going to finish up with the screenshots going around the house and stuff. I don't know, this was a really fun build for me guys. I just, yeah, it, it was just a lot of fun and I've got lots of little shots. Um, I remember to take pictures of the bathroom, which for some reason I forget a lot. Uh, but yeah, doing this kid's bedroom, which I really like. I think, I think I did a good job making this whole house feel pretty beachy, which was my goal. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys!